Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a what the what the check on Lana Del Rey, Jeremy Dufrini. They just got married. Let's go. So Mr. Peach's urn finally came. So we don't have to deal with this janky box anymore that came from the people that cremated him. Uh, where to begin with this janky box, right? So his urn arrived two months ago and someone in the building stole it. Can you believe that? They effing stole it. And so I put up these flyers, these really passive aggressive flyers in my building to guilt people into like revealing what they knew or to giving it back, no luck. And then I asked the building manager to check the surveillance footage and like, thank God they don't keep like a stockpile of old footage because like by the time I asked them, they're like, oh, the footage from that day is gone. Like, thank God I didn't find out who stole Mr. Peach's urn because I mean, you can imagine I would have come after them. So we are having an unboxing of the urn on Monday, next Monday. So we're gonna do the week ahead read and then we are gonna unbox this bad boy. And I'm so excited to unbox it with you. Really, really excited. So that's what we're gonna do together. Yeah, a few weeks ago, we did a spread on Alana Del Rey and her regular human man boyfriend at the time, Jeremy Dufresne, who is now her husband. And did they get great cards? Well, not great cards, but not bad cards either. They got cards that made me think that perhaps, you know, there were some complications with their connection. But was there anything in those cards that suggested that things were super, super serious? And the answer is yes. So if you take a look at that uh, spread that we did, you'll see that Jeremy's cards had more of a buying sign. Like his cards indicated like, I'm sure this is it. Like Knight of Wands in reverse is like the waiting is over. Justice card often comes up for people when they feel like there's a focus on what they deserve. Either their partner is a reflection of what they deserve or is the antithesis of what they deserve. But perhaps the most green light for these two was the fact that we got the Empress card. So the Empress card is major arcana and it's probably the heaviest hitter in the deck when it comes to I'm stamping this relationship with approval from the universe, you know? Uh, all things connected to love, relationships, sex, romance, children, abundance, creativity, lushness. So they got that. Now, the card which indicated where was the energy heading was the Two of Pentacles, which we traditionally do not view as a very positive card. Now, of course, it's far more positive than the Two of Pentacles in reverse, but it suggests trying to bring things into balance. Sure, nothing screamed marriage, but it's definitely possible that at that time they weren't planning it or that they were planning it, but they were trying to figure out how to make it work, what with his business in Louisiana and her very real career here in Los Angeles. So yeah, we wish them all the best. Is there anything in Lana Del Rey's immediate chart that indicated she was going to marry a regular guy? The answer is no. Like I've been poring over her chart looking for signs that she was gonna marry a regular guy or someone who does stuff with water or boats. Is there anything like that? Kind of, I mean, Basically, if you look at Neptune is in reverse, it's, you know, trining by sign uh, Venus in Taurus. So let's take a look at her seventh house ruler. So her seventh house is in Taurus. That is the ruler of committed relationships. That's a zodiac sign that rules that aspect of her life. Now the ruler of Taurus is Venus. Venus is in Taurus. So this is a very auspicious place uh, for the seventh house ruler to be. They have full control. This would suggest that she's had a lot of good luck with relationships in life, maybe. So any signal, signals that should marry a regular guy? I, nothing's jumping out at me, but the fact that we have Neptune in Capricorn trining Venus, you know, the planet of love, but also for her, her seventh house ruler, trining that planet by sign indicates to me that maybe she would end up with someone who has to do with boats or water or the ocean, just because Neptune rules the ocean. Neptune uh, is the modern ruler of Pisces and can have a connection with all things uh, related to boats, oceanic, nautical, that whole thing. So there's that. 
Um, the fact that Saturn is in retrograde in her chart and is moving into an opposition uh, with Venus does indicate, you know, maybe setbacks in relationships, maybe slowness, maybe do-overs. And also just Saturn being father time suggests that she might marry an older partner and he is 10 years older than her. So we do have some signs here that, you know, point to Jeremy, right? And unfortunately, we don't know his zodiac sign. We, we know nothing about his astrology data. If you are able to find it, put it in the comments and we'll all have a good look-see. But now let's just pull some cards on these crazy kids, see how they're doing, wish them the best, right? Okay, so Lana, Jeremy, Lana, Jeremy, helping or hurting the situation, and where's the energy heading? All right, so Lana's external vibe towards Jeremy. That's weird. Um, It's weird, but we've seen this before. So we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. So upright, the Queen of Cups is, you know, a healthy expression of an emotional sense, meaning full of love, affection, abundance, using your emotions in a clairvoyant manner, so much so that they're almost like psychic, like a superpower. Now, when this card comes up in reverse, you know, it can mean that all the love and affection is dumping out of this situation, or, which obviously is not happening here, they're happily married and newlyweds, right? So it can also mean when someone goes all in, you know, it's like when somebody like dumps all their chips on the poker table and is like, I'm all in. We see that sometimes with the Ace of Cups and the Queen of Cups in reverse, where someone's like, it's all yours. I'm giving you everything. All my supplies of love and affection. They all go to you. Okay. Jeremy's external vibe towards Lana. Not my favorite. Um, okay, so we got the Seven of Wands in reverse, so I thought these would just be boring-ass cards. But Seven of Wands in reverse can suggest perhaps, you know, many things. So upright, we know this is a shady card. This is a card of manipulation, gaslighting, trickery, doing things on the low, uh, maybe lying or misrepresenting things. So... <clears throat> When this card comes up in reverse, it can mean a multitude of things. It can mean that you're lying to yourself, so that's number one. But it can also sometimes suggest that you're lying for no good reason, or misrepresenting things, or manipulating things, or warping things for no good reason. Upright, this person has a goal in mind. They're attempting to win the war by stealing their enemy's weapons. In reverse, because sometimes it's just like, oh, chaos for chaos's sake, so that's an interpretation of this. But also can mean, like, maybe um, the ends of delivery illusions the maybe it can mean a greater emotional honesty as a positive way to view it but i don't love this card showing up at all on his side of things because we wish them well right okay lana's internal vibe towards jeremy this is so weird um okay we don't get this many reversals when people are happy so maybe this just means happening behind closed doors. Maybe she's guarding this relationship very carefully. So the full card is a card, upright is a card of optimism. We did not get it upright. We got it in reverse. So upright is a card of like optimism, taking the next leap, just knowing everything's going to be okay, the grand adventure. So when this card comes up in reverse, it can mean one of two things. It can mean a lack of confidence, which she probably doesn't feel because she just married this guy. Or it can mean feeling the confidence, the sense of courage, but like behind closed doors. You know, wanting to do these things on the low, away from the prying eyes of the rest of the world. So that may be kind of her vibe right now. We've barely seen any photos of them together. We have no idea the nature of their relationship. It may just mean she's keeping things on the low. I mean, are there any photos of their wedding available? You know? This may be part of a theme, is that, like, she's keeping this relationship healthy by keeping it under wraps. Okay. And Jeremy's internal vibe towards Lana. Okay, interesting. Okay, so more weird cards on Jeremy's side. So five of wands upright. So this is a card of just internal discord, maybe just feeling a little chaotic. Um, not the, like, peace and serene vibe that you would expect from someone, you know, with a card like this, but it can indicate just, you know, feeling, uh, a, a tumultuous emotions. Um, not really 
knowing the way forward. Um, it could be anxiety would be a great manifestation of this card. So very strange, not really, uh, not really what I expected. Okay. What's helping or hurting the situation? Okay, so like last time, they got a helping card, which is very, very positive. So uh, they got the Ace of Wands. So in spite of any reservations that they might have, in spite of any worries, um, they view this as the beginning of a new journey, the beginning of something very special and important. You know, a door opening up and just being able to walk through that doorway and being able to do it together, to embark on this new path or this new journey together. So that's very, very hopeful. I mean... Okay, so they're both bringing maybe a little bit of baggage to this marriage. I guess we can say that. And where is the energy heading? Hmm. Okay, so I don't love it. I don't love it. So we got the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So upright, this is a card that will come up for couples a lot like but not newlyweds particularly but it just has to do with like marriage counseling usually like 90 percent of the time for couples when this comes up it means marriage counsel it's three people here and they're bringing their different skill sets to the table so we've got like a scribe and then like two elders of the university or the church or whoever they are and it's the theme of it is you know teamwork and bringing different skill sets together to make something like very lofty so when this card comes up in reverse it could suggest you know Failed therapy, improbable therapy, needing a mediator, needing a third party, a third party involved in the relationship in some way. Could just be an assistant. Things feeling a little off or destabilized. So this is interesting because last time for these two, we got the two of pentacles, right? Now we're getting the three of pentacles except in reverse. So it's almost like they're trying to create more stability, but that there's going to be a certain offness to it. So a lot of reversals for what seems like a very, very happy couple. You know, whenever we have threes that show up in one of these relationship spreads, they can just meet a third, they can just mean a third party causing, you know, helping or hindering the relationship. Sometimes the third party is like a side guy or a side chick, but sometimes it can just be like a demanding job or a demanding business, a demanding Hollywood career. Sometimes it's an annoying family member. Sometimes it's an annoying pet. But they're suggesting that something here with threes is going to be causing less stability than it's going to be providing. So, wow, yeah, that's what I've got for you guys. Comment below. I mean, not at all what I expected. So I was expecting some really, really dull cards, but here we are. So let me know if you have any other interpretations of the cards. Let me know if you think these two are going to last. Put your thoughts in the comments. Like and subscribe. And as always, we'll do this again.